Braille Pen 12. Navigating iDevices. Let's find out how to navigate within an iDevice using the Braille Pen 12. Navigation works in the same way on an iPod, an iPad and an iPhone. If your iDevice is asleep or locked, wake it up or unlock it. Press the home button, swipe your finger across the display until you hear slide to unlock and then double tap. Slide to unlock. Slide or double tap. You will hear the Braille Pen 12 beep as it reconnects. First we want to navigate around the home screen. The home screen has icons for all the apps that are installed. If you have a lot of apps installed, there can be more than one page to your home screen. To move to an earlier home screen page, press space plus dots 246. If you are on page 1 of the home screen, you will move to the search page. Search is a part of your home screen that is before the apps page or pages. To move to a later home screen page, press space plus dots 135. You can keep moving forward through pages until you reach the last available page. The other way to return to the home screen is to press H chord space plus dots 125. If you came from page 2, you will land on page 1. If you were already on page 1, you will land on search. If you were on search, you will land on page 1. To read through all the app icons on the screen, press space plus dots 2456. The cursor moves to the first app and reads it. Messages. Calendar. Monday, January 20th. And then moves to each icon in turn and reads the name of the app. While the apps are being spoken, if you're quick, you can press joystick enter to open the app while it's being spoken. But if your voiceover speech rate is quick, getting the app open before the cursor has moved on can be a problem. If you press space plus dots 2456, you can stop the reading at any time by pressing joystick up or joystick down. If you press joystick left, the cursor will move back one icon. If you press joystick right, the cursor will move forward one icon. When you land on notes, voiceover will say notes. Double tap to open. At the same time, your braille display will show the word double with an eight dot cell on either side of it. To open the app the cursor is on, press joystick enter. We're opening the Notes app, which is a standard app on any iDevice. To move from the top of the screen to the bottom, press space plus dots 456. In Notes, this moves you right over the note text to the last of a set of controls at the bottom of the screen. Notes behaves a little differently on iPad from iPod and iPhone, but navigation is done in the same way. To move from the bottom of the screen to the top, press space plus dots 123. In notes, this moves you all the way to the notes button where you started. At the top of most app screens you'll find some action buttons and a title. The notes button is the first, so you use joystick right to move to the next one, the title of the note, and the third one, the add button. After the Add button, press joystick right to move into the body of the note. The first thing you come across is the day and time the note was last saved. With the next press, you reach the text of the note, and voiceover begins reading the entire note automatically. It was meant to be the year when Central Europe took center stage. For the to first stop time reading, history, press space plus dots 1234. The same key combination will resume reading from where voiceover stops. Succession, Hungary and Poland. To the read only the area of the screen on which you're focused, in this case the body of the note, press space plus dots 1235. Reading begins from the cursor position in the focused area. 
when it's a text field such as a note. This is different from reading the entire screen, which will not only read the text area, but also the titles and buttons at the top and bottom of the screen. To move the editing cursor to the beginning or end of the document, use joystick enter. Insertion point at start. Each press will move the cursor to the other end of the note. Before you move through the note, you need to choose the rotor setting that will govern how large the steps are. You can move by character, by word, or by line. To change rotor setting, press space 23 or space 56. Begin by choosing character. Characters. To move within the note, use space plus dot six to move forward and space plus dot three to move back. The joystick movements govern movement within the entire app screen. For movement within the text field, use the space plus dot keys. To move word by word, you use space plus dots two three to change the rotor setting to words and then use the same keystroke space plus dot six to move forward and space plus dot three to move back. To move line by line, you use space plus dots two three to change the rotor setting to lines and then use the same keystrokes as before to move forward and back. When moving line by line, you can listen to the entire line being read until you move again. Use history. The six-month presidency is being held by two Central European countries. If you want to edit your note, your rotor settings must be on character. Then you can move character by character and place the cursor wherever you want. To add text, simply type. Yes. Yes. To edit, you can use D chord space plus dots 145 to delete the character to the left of the cursor. With Braille Pen 12 navigating, reading and particularly writing is much quicker and more intuitive.